Okay, we're right. good. All right. Um, was the was the audio better with this thing, or just the standard phone was good enough? It was. It seemed about even. I want to be honest with you. It was, well, di- it was different when you got closer, but I mean, it's still clear. It's it's okay. nice. I mean, but if it's okay. gonna kill your batteries, I guess then. I well, know. that's I want to find out. So we're just gonna run it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you, got you. Okay. I just didn't want to do it if it sounds like shit. So I, I just hear like I hear it, like the cord movement and shit. You know. But I don't know how much that's picking up on your end. We'll do some fucking uh, some S A S M R some aged sex Mexicans. Aged sexy Mexican sexy. recovery. Oh man, you know what I mean, bro? That's what's up. What you got? Diet Coke. No, this is a uh, proud sponsor. Your Aqua Bella V Wellness Immunity. Water, yuzu citrus. It tastes medicated. I don't know if you can see that real good, but it tastes. Uh, my lady got them. It's good, but they definitely have like a medicinal taste to it. I got you. I got you. Like you're drinking a soda that, I mean, genuine, like a water beverage that has vitamin C and right, right, shit like that in it because it it does. So it's not horrible. It's not horrible. Oh yeah. I don't mind it. Oh yeah. Um. How was the podcast for you guys yesterday? It went pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. I seen some uh, flyby chins there on the screen. No, I'm just kidding, Eric. <laughs> I had one too. I had one. Actually, too. mine was like it was like side profile, like all nose. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a Who's good this, look here. That one singer, that one chick with the um, pretty big uh, honker. Uh, oh, she, there's so many. She was with Sea Lion Dion. Uh, her too, I guess, but. Um, Lady Gaga. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gaga, Lady Gaga. She's got a sh- a schnoz on her. She knows what I'm talking about. Fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. bitch. <laughs> you look just like her with a beard. <laughs> Dude, that's I'm, one of the I'm nicest jealous. things you've ever said to me, bro. That was really nice. Thank you. I am now. I appreciate that. the <laughs> bow, bow, me. Bow. Oh man! What'd you do? Yes, how's things with the uh, puppy? Let's let's hear on this puppy dog. Uh, doing pretty good. Um, we're still trying to potty train her and stuff like that, but and keep her away from stuff, chewing on things and various things like that. Um, the first day she was kind of shy, you know, but uh, I think she opened up a lot more. Good. It's only been what three days now, so. Um, she did. She like. I had to pick her up to bring her in the house and all that. Now she's walking in and out by herself and stuff like that. So little progress, you know, stuff like that. Like running around playing a little bit more, not just being super timid. Yep, exactly. But I, I think she's kind of like me, though, in that way where, you know, I'm kind of I'm shy, too, at first. And then, you know, come into your own groove afterwards or something like that. So. Same. Any new situation, like you start a new job, you're always a little bit apprehensive. Um, you don't give yourself full full range, you know, because you think maybe somebody's not going to be used to your brand of humor or whatever. So you got to test the waters, see what everybody else is like. And then all of a sudden, like you feel comfortable and you open up and everybody around you wishes you would shut the fuck up and just go back to being quiet because <laughs> you're obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> that ever happened? To you? That's just me. Fuck. Yeah, my whole life, man. Shoot up, Trev. Shoot up, Trev. No, man. You don't know me. Oh, man. So we got a shit ton of snow out there to shovel. Did you get out today? Did you say, fuck it, till it stops doing it? I was going to wait till it stops doing it. I, I did go. Amen. To, I went and ate with my family, though, you know, my siblings and stuff like that. So it was, we had some pork you, tacos. Pretty you good. did leave the house, at least. Yeah. Um. Pro- I got back, like, 20 minutes before I messaged you, so... Got back about seven, I think it was. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was it was still uh pretty early, but not that long ago, I guess. What three hours ago? Yeah, not too bad. Right. It uh, I don't think it's accumulated too much in the last couple of hours. It was a few hours before. Um, I guess I think what the first time I left the house was probably two o'clock somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
Yeah, by then it was already pretty warm and fucking slushy and dumb. Right. I mean, it's still blowing out there pretty good, though, huh? So, so it was slushy in town? Yeah. Slushy, the fucking center lanes were dog ass. Oh, camera cut out, sir. There we go. Am I on? Yes, yeah, sir. I can yeah. see yeah, I'm just, I don't know, this is my first time fucking with Discord, so I'm just touching shit. I should probably leave shit the fuck alone, but you know me, <laughs> impossible I hear you. touching on buttons and shit. It's kind of cool, like, fucking pervert. well, you know how perverted I am, I'm sitting here staring at myself more than I'm staring at you, that's how weird it's getting, it is. just looking at myself like I'm some sort of uh, cockatiel or some I'm shit. I'm trying to look at myself so I can look at the camera, but you're over here on my screen, so like, ah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so if anybody's wondering why I look over, maybe I gotta just turn my whole face. That's a big ass head. Gravitational pull when I move it. <laughs> That's what I like about you. Oh, yeah. Your hairline is more like an equator. Is that why you call? Is that why you call me Polly? What the heck? <laughs> That's Polly exactly why. Oh, when I was in when I was in one room school, there was this little guy. He was adorable, but he, I don't, God, I can't remember his real name, but I used to tease him because I was a dick, uh -huh. and we called him Polly Pocket, and then I had seen him, uh, he wound up leaving that school, and I had seen him sometime later before I was moving to here, to Minnesota, Yeah. and uh, th that's how we're introduced in the group, because we were in a, a youth empowerment program, we all had to go uh, camping on St. Mary's Glacier for 10 days. And so when we get up and we have to introduce ourselves to each other, because this was all like juvenile delinquents kind of program. And uh, he's like, no, I know this guy over here points at me. And he's like, yeah, this fucking guy calls me Polly Pocket. And I'm like, bro, dude, don't ever fucking don't ever expose your weakness to the group. So then the rest of the 10 days, everyone just called him Polly Pocket and he was pissed off about it. I'm like, you're the one that brought it up. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna say shit, to, you know. I hope they were like, gonna diss you or some shit, and that it backfired. <laughs> oh shit! Why is your pants off? I'm just gonna... yeah. What just happened right there? Whoa! Ghost. Too much. Too much shit plugged in at once. I think. Yeah, just on the phone. Well, yeah, because. Two chords just for one thing. Can you still hear me okay? Yep, yep. Perfectly fine, Good. sir. We'll just run with that. Gotcha. But yeah, the whole time he was pissed off, didn't want to be part of the group. And he's like, oh, they keep teasing me. Well, what happened, you know? What did you do? <laughs> Why did what you, you even say anything? <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I wasn't going to bring it up. Like, I was going to pretend we didn't even know each other. And you're like, this guy used to make fun of me. Everybody laughed, of course, because he was uh, little as fuck. And it was funny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor guy. Oh, man. Yeah. Sorry. Well, maybe he learned his lesson. Maybe not. I'd like to think so. You know, we can only hope. I never learned my lesson. I still <laughs> tease people, so. Yeah. Hey, man, it happens. That'll come back to bite me in the ass again. <laughs> just if you're, if you're out there teasing people, you just got to remember not to expose your weaknesses like Matt Word said. Yep. Yep. Well, just never tell people, like, I told somebody once, like, I don't like bananas, you know, and then they torment you with bananas for a while. Bananas. A kid, but, dude, like a kid at work one time, the boss's kid, mm -hmm. he hit me in the face with the, with the banana. Was it unpeeled? Like, yeah, so it was like the mu and like mush, like a little bit of mush, Nanner. And so it hit me in the face. And this is the boss's kid. And I don't know. I don't know what he expected. Yeah. Like what he thought was going to happen. So he took off running. Yeah. And I had like just filled up my bottle of water. And he took off running outside. And we worked kind of at like a lumber mill. So it was like, you know, sawdust and dirt. It was concrete. It was slippery. Mm -hmm. Well, he slipped and fell into like the dirt. And so I fucking dumped all my water on him and kicked a bunch of the dirt all over him and shit. So then he was all muddy and gross and I had to go back to work like that and explain to his dad, like, why he was all messy. I mean, he had to go tell his dad, well, 
I fell over when I was running away from Matt after I hit him in the face with a fucking banana. Like, the boss wasn't upset with me. He came and was, like, laughing and shit at his kid. Right. But, yeah, I should have not said nothing about banana. That's what you get, you know. <laughs> uh, that's funny. He just cries his dad, though. Yeah. He's going to look like his dad was going to defend him. Oh, dude, in one time at work. So, you might be familiar with some of these. You get, like, those sports drinks um like maybe like the whey protein or you know like the creatine drinks well he had this shaker bottle the boss's kid yeah he was on these drinks for a while and i had this little room in the center of the building where uh i used to grind like the high speed steel knives for the molders yeah and he left one of those bottles in there behind a shelf and it got all like gross i don't know if you've ever smelled one of those after you've like left it out for like three or four days but it those like those kind of protein drinks take on this weird i don't know life form they stink so like bad. death yeah yeah but i couldn't get the smell out of that room and i had to work in that room for days and it was already hot in there and miserable and i couldn't get that stink out of there so i was pissed at him and then i finally found the thing days later and he was laughing laughing so bad and so i was mowing my lawn later that week and i found weirdly uh this the cutoff tail of a beaver in my yard and i was living south of bagley yeah and so it was all like hot and decomposing so i asked his uh his dad the boss for the keys to his van yeah and then i stuck that beaver tail because it was flat i stuck it under like the there was like a little lip to the panel under the back of his seat in this minivan. Yeah. And it fucking cooked in there. It cooked in there all summer, dude. All summer. Until yeah. finally he didn't he didn't know where it was coming from. It just stunk and nobody would ride with him and he I think he kinda got used to it but just kinda stopped <laughs> questioning. He's like, I vacuumed it out and everything, but I had tucked it in under his flap under the seat. Yeah. And I eventually had to tell him. But it was hilarious. His dad was laughing bad. So <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Just a hot, skanky death. It, it's hilarious that he, like, tries to console in his dad, and his dad just helps set him up. <laughs> yeah. Like, his dad was on board. <laughs> He's like, hell yeah, Super let's do this. <laughs> My kid's a dick. No, Why is there a dot right there? Man, that's cool. I got two dots now. My, it's probably from just the light, you know? Yeah, that's what it's probably from. I look like I have a different hairline when I go like that. Like I have a... Yeah, whoop, me too. Whoop, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> look like... <laughs> 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 oh, man. Shit. Uh, that's fucking what else you got going on? What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, snow blow. Yeah, snow blow, all the fun stuff, you know. Walk the doggies. Um, I don't know. Might have to freaking... Take, take the rake to the roof again. I don't know. All that stuff's building up. You know that stuff ain't over. No, and it's wet and heavy, too. It weighs a lot. Hell yeah. I, felt, I heard it shifted up on the roof earlier when it was starting to get warm again and then got a little heavy. Right. Oh, how it nerve. Yes, yeah, sir. Fucking nerve-wracking. Right. You're like, I hope this motherfucker don't break. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm like, when you're a homeowner, man, like you gotta pay for that shit. You know, <laughs> Absolutely. Get all the landlord. Like, right. yo, your roof, bro. <laughs> get up there on your that roof. roof. <laughs> <laughs> get up there. <laughs> oh man, I'm scared. Just kidding. <sighs> I'm never really like afraid of heights, as far as. Like houses, like I've been on some pretty steep pitches, uh -huh. but any any time that there's snow and you you don't have a sure footing, it just makes the whole game garbage. Like I I'll be on a flat roof, but if I'm like two foot up there and it's still flat but with snow, and it makes me all that more nervous. <laughs> I had like three ropes tied on me or something. Yeah, just three. Yes. Yeah, yeah, some floaties from a swimming pool yeah. on my arm. <laughs> Shit'll start. <laughs> I 
I've seen in an avalanche once some guy had some floaties and it looked like he survived. So I'll bring an inner tube with me when I go on the roof. Oh, uh, the roof travel won't feel good. <laughs> yeah, no. Have them tied on each leg. Well, that's, yeah, legs, not the arms. You need those to swim in snow swimming. Breaststroke, oh. I heard, effective when you in an avalanche. Yeah, that's how Gene Claude Van Damme learned how to do the splits. Did you know that? You're goddamn right. He did it with ropes. Ropes. <laughs> Yeah, ropes and coconuts. Yep. He did it with coconuts. <laughs> that was a he was the coconut. A extensive part of his training. Yes, sir. You're jiggling. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a little dance routine I was working on. Oh. <laughs> Every once in a while, your uh, your screen freezes up on my end, and then so if I collapse the windows, pop them back open. Then I can see you in all your glory again. Yeah. Behold. That, that's Behold. Kind of weird. Behold. What, what are you up to tomorrow? Same thing. Um, shoveling. I'm going to shovel tomorrow. Um, finish up tidy in the house. Laundry. I've just been kind of doing odds and ends. Because I'm the only one here. It's just me and Rusty. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Got to have a clean trail. Nobody to bug you. Just stay focused type stuff. Yeah, and so just doing a bit of this, bit of that, um, playing some video games. Oh, yeah. um, I played some Fortnite earlier. Probably yeah, shouldn't so. say that. Shouldn't say that. You're being judged. Yeah. Well, no, I had a, I had a friend, uh, this chick Lindsay from over there. Yeah. Not not in this state, but down the street. Yeah. She was kind enough to be patient while I tried to figure out what the fuck I'm doing with my shit on there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got like three kills for the team. Oh, nice. Would you guys play got... squads? Yeah, squad duo, no build. Oh, duo, no build. Yeah, um, Royale. So it was just you two versus everybody else? Yeah. Okay. Just a bunch of teams of two. I got you, I got you. Yeah, because squads is for four, and then they got like trios, which is three, then they got duos, and then they just got solo, solo queues. Yeah, usually I just play solo, well, unless I'm an idiot, and then I queue up duo with no fill, and then everybody has a partner but me, because I'm fucking clever. <laughs> hey man, it'll probably elevate you, you never know. Be the next yeah, I've looked good. i looked good out there, just being like a fucking idiot vigilante, man. Yeah. I looked good. Yep, I had a dance routine, all that lined up. <laughs> Did you try the no build on there? That's the only one I play, no build. Or I mean, my bad, the uh, the build. Have you tried that one yet? Accidentally, first <laughs> time through. Yeah. Yeah. I did the first two, and I was like, oh, what do these buttons do? And then as soon as shit started flying around in blue that looked like dodgy fucking prints, I decided, no, it wasn't for me. Right. I'm over it. It's kind of confusing, you know. Well, it looks cool, but maybe I, baby steps, you know. Maybe I'll figure out one part of the game, just how to stay alive first. And mm -hmm. I see, I see. We'll have to run a game one of these days. I I don't go on there very often. Oh, shit. You still play ever? What's up? You still play ever? Uh, once in a great while. I know you've been on Warcraft for a grip there. Heck yeah, been fucking jamming on that shit. It's a good looking game. It's a, another one that's a little chaotic for me. Like I get anxiety thinking that there's a hundred people in a lobby and they all want to fucking kill me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can turn off. I mean, yeah, and they hadn't. Turn off they hadn't mode. even. Heard, they hadn't even heard me talk yet. Imagine. <laughs> it's Max. Fun. Yeah, so fun. It gives me stress, man. No doubt. Or when I see myself dropping in, mm -hmm. and then there's like seven or eight other people going to the exact same place as me. Makes you nervous. Me up. Yeah, I'm like oh shit, we're gonna have a pickaxe fight. This is lame. Got to gotta pull out fucking heavy metal, uh, heavy metal music. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. A better, better fucking theme song than that shit I got going on right now. Right, right. Oh man. So that's like, Did you spend any money on that game? No. No. Good. No. Good. Don't do it. It's a trap. 
No, um, the homegirl, though, she helped me get, a what are them things called? Outfits? Outfit? Oh, a skin? Skin. Yeah. Yep. So I have, like, a cool alien-looking thing now, because, like, apparently I was embarrassing to hang out with, with the character that I was. Oh. I think is kind of, I think is what happened there. How'd you unlock like, it? Huh? How'd you unlock it? She sent it as a gift. Oh, so I didn't know you it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sent it as a gift. Said, like, here's the outfit. Put it on because you're fucking embarrassing, mate. <laughs> yeah. Fucking try hard. No skin. No skin. Yeah. One of them scenarios. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool, though. That's nice of her. Yeah. Those and now I look. Cheap, bro. Well, remotely cool. Although. I still can't shoot where the fuck. I look intimidating at least now. So. Well, you killed you killed three people also. Three people, one in one session, probably two another time. I think my most kills is five in one session. Oh, that's pretty good. And that was the time that I got third place by myself, solo. Against duos? Nope, that was no. true solos. One onesies. Just a bunch of onesies. Grown pajama mans. <laughs> Grown pajama mans. Banana peels. Fuck. Hey, dude, why you gotta bring that up? <laughs> There's banana people in there. <laughs> no, I see one. People Maybe, yeah. yeah, there was one that... Well, the person I was playing with, she had a nanner character. Uh-huh. And uh, it had teeth on the side of its head or something. It was real weird, dude. It was real weird. You know what I'm talking about, though. You seen it, right? No, it might be newer. I haven't played it in at least a season now, I'd say. Seasons go fast, I think. Are they like every week, every month? I think they're like a month or 45 days, 60 days at max. You know, it's different for every game. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been kind of... I do like one or two of that. But what I hate is like dying real quick and then going back to a loading screen again. Oh, I guess. You can re queue up really fast. Yeah, no, I know. I don't, like, go back to the fucking lobby and shit every time. It's just a little more sitting around than I want when I'm trying to game. So I just go play Ghosts after a couple rounds of me dying on Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah, for sure. Oh, man. I don't know. I'd, I'd probably suck ass uh, my first game back, but I'd at least get one kill. I ain't bragging or nothing. <laughs> Sound like a brag, a one kill brag. Uh, can't top that Pretty one gangster. kill. <laughs> Pretty gangster. Hell yeah. I mean, that game, I think it's easier, especially than like Apex Legends, though. That game sucks butt cheeks, dude. You, you ever try that one? I didn't. No. It's like they're more try hardy, I guess. You get a lot more health, though, too, it seems like. Especially when you get like the higher tiered armor or something like that. It's like, oh, man. I mean, that, it's a fun game too, I guess. Definitely different. No fall damage, I like that. But I do like that. Yeah, I died a few times on that action. On Fortnite? Yep. Heck yeah. Oh, it's easy to do. I do like their mechanics, though, like their uh, climbing abilities and stuff like that. I think they come a long way in that regard. That part, that part was all right. Um... I was so I wasn't ready for the falling because I died twice. Um, I didn't really realize like I still don't really understand what the whole point of leveling up is. If you don't have like stock weapons, you're just getting like different skins and shit like that. Yeah, and then you're um, you're mining whatever looking item. Your wacky stick is whatever you can upgrade that, and your glider and shit. But yeah, well, they got the save the world mode. Yeah. Let's go again. Sorry. I said they got the save the world mode. That, that that's more PVE and stuff like that. But I think the levels are just for the uh, the season though. It's just towards your battle pass. If you buy the battle pass, that's all a hundred eleven or a hundred tiers of that. And sometimes they go past now. I last time I had a battle pass it was like a hundred and twenty levels. Then they give you something for that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll figure all that out in time if I play it enough, but I don't know if that'll happen. Yeah. 
not if you don't if you only play it like once or twice ever you know what i mean it, it wouldn't be worth yeah, it. Yeah, you never going to get good at it enough, too, to really enjoy it. You have to get good to really start. Because right now, I'm just like, uh, I fucking died again. Oh, yeah. Kind of got to grind. And yeah, like you said, gotta get back on the fucking short bus. <laughs> Way to drop in. I don't know if they'd find helmets for you. It's good. <laughs> They're all taking Not my tights. They don't fit. My fucking head's too small. Too tiny. <laughs> it's too tiny. They keep falling off even yeah. with the straps. You just got some big ass shoulders. I don't know what you're talking about. These are pads. I got these at at the Woolworth. Nice. You like them? Yeah, it looks comfy. Yeah. You're all oh, styling. So styling. I think I got pajamas on. That's pretty much the ensemble for the day, man. It's okay. comfy gear. I got a sweater. And I got fucking shorts. Good combination. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Gotta show off the twig legs That's at home. Classic Minnesota sweatshirt and shorts suit. <laughs> I was out there walking Mika, and it was like, ooh, ooh, my little twigs were shaking. <laughs> 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 like, maybe I should put the pants on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how people do it, man. Like, my legs get cold, and they get miserable. They feel like they lock up, like they atrophy, you know? Yeah. My muscles work on my legs when they get cold. <laughs> Shit drives me bonkers. Bonkers, brother. Oh, man. Um, <coughs> how's everything at work been going for you, sir? It's been a pretty decent week. Um, we had the projects on Thursday. And that was... I was worked up. Yeah. It was super, it was super laid back, dude. Um, I don't want to say that it wasn't about the project so much because it really was, but it was more about what we learned in there, in the classes. Absolutely. Um, uh, and so what, when I was, in, oh yeah. yeah, I mean, I think most of it is just not coming from a background of management. It's just having confidence in the decisions and knowing, you know. When not to call somebody a fucking dirty pirate cocksucking, you know, <laughs> gypsy. Oh yeah, I hear you. I mean, I think these, the fundamentals of things is just to be kind and yeah. I think it also person. it kind of like reaches further than work though too. You know what I mean? That's what I kind of took from it myself. It does. It's more interpersonal. It makes it more engaging. It makes it less about just the monotony of it. And more about the inner working, so it adds interest. You know, it makes it cooler because it's not so kind of blase, like redundant. Like work in itself is work, right? The grind, in, out, in, out, whatever. Oh, yeah. But then you add nuances, you add relationships and different characters. And, and then you have sometimes a soap opera. Or you have a good team with, you know, great rapport and good banter and shit like that. You wind up with people like us, like, you know, myself, you, Eric, Kyle, the four of us. Oh, yeah. You know, you, you get a good group of people that get together that can shoot the shit and get work done and have a good time. It makes a world of difference. But you can't do all that if you can't manage yourself. You can't do any of that. You can't manage people if you can't manage your own shit. Absolutely. Oh, man. And Which is why I choose to get a frontal lobotomy every six to eight months. Just to make sure. <laughs> just to make sure that part of the brain that cares too much stays dead. So I'm just comfortable. Oh, man. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds horrible. You fuck. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. No, Ooh, I finally got but no, it's been it's been a good week. it's been a good week. We miss you, but it's yeah. been a good week. Yeah. Miss you guys too. Uh, got that heater up and running in the garage. I don't got to freeze when I go out there. What was wrong with it? The shit went out last time you came over. Remember that shit? It was just blowing yeah. I know. Out. I remember, but I mean, what was that end result? Like, why did it go out? Um, it was gay, so I had to like straighten it back out. <laughs> No, I'd, I'd had a reset I saw switch. A ministry, uh, I saw a ministry on that. They did that shit. But it works. It works. How much was the fix? It was just a, a switch on there. 
Yeah, they had like a troubleshooting guide inside the thing when you open up the panel. So. Oh, and you just click the fucking switch. You had to reach your hand in there to get it in there. It was like the igniters uh, tripped or some shit like that. So it was like a uh, certain overflow got triggered. So. Oh. So, well, I was like, shit, man, I should open this up sooner, but. Right, that ain't so bad. I was always worried like it's gonna be one of those spendy scenarios. Right. You know. Oh yeah. Three hundred dollars later, and you've replaced a fuse that it might have been. Uh, also, like it also saved you. A, like if you don't know how to do it, or if you're scared, you just you end up just calling some dude, and it costs like fucking a hundred dollars for him to come out, or some shit, two hundred bucks or something. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like fifty dollars an hour, one hour minimum, no matter what the job is. Ring up the bill. I'm not knocking it. You know, that's their profession. I would charge what I had to as well if I was getting up at you know one one o'clock on a Saturday because somebody's furnace is down and shit. But right, right, for sure. It's always nicer when YouTube can help you out. Uh, 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 <laughs> right. I put I, I put some things in vehicles because of YouTube lately. Oh, same here. <laughs> Mostly like blower motors for heaters and shit like that. Right. That's a standard for going out. Thank God for YouTube, you know, all its information. People are able to post videos and, you know, make money right. from it too from providing good, good ass information and dope ass videos, you know. I think there's a lot of good stuff on there. Of course, like anything, you're going to have a drove of nonsense. I mean, I have videos on there, so I know there's <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> but there's a lot of good shit to be had. Like my, my kids have been watching a lot of like the kind of the old supermarket science style stuff. Yeah, you know, like Mister Wizard or who? Who do they got now? Um, your generation was uh, Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill Nye, Bill Nye. Sorry, I drew a blank. Bill Nye, the science guy. So he's in your generation. Magic and then. Was. Ours was ours was uh, Mr. Wizard with supermarket science. But yeah, you could do like little home projects and shit and the stuff that they come up with, like making a battery out of copper and like some uh, vinegar and stuff, making like an old school Egyptian battery thing. Okay, it's yeah. always cool. Or teaching us how the, the effects of lightning can fuck somebody up and stuff like that by demonstrating with like a hot dog or whatever, touching it. Thing <laughs> I watched a different hot dog video, but... Oh, oh, yuck. It's good. <laughs> it, no, it had... Um, the hell did they do it? It was kind of similar. They just hooked it up, put electrodes on either end of it, and tried to explode the hot dog. Oh, okay. With electricity. Our but it really just... It wound up cooking the outside edges of it, and then, oh, then you okay. just had it. Wrinkly scissors, sizzle wiener. Right. When you're a kid, you're like, been there. yeah. When you're a kid, you're like, dude, that they don't look, look like nothing. But you get older, and you're like, dude, that's dangerous. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, I remember I took a pair of side cutters and I had the speaker plugged into the wall, and I just cut the wire for no reason, not even thinking about it, and it like arced and sparked and shot the pliers out of my hand and oh. took like. Melted a big ass fucking chunk out of it, like goddamn, really, really stupid. I could have got electrocuted, right. but nothing happened the other than it like it sparked, boom, and like launched them out of my hand, and my hand kind of hurt from just the force of it springing. Yeah, you got lucky then, because sometimes it makes you tense up and you can't let go and stuff like that when you get shot. Yeah, I peed on an electric fence before. Oh man! <laughs> Not on purpose. My sister was dating this dude, and his family kept birds, fancy ones. Mm -hmm. And he had a skateboard ramp in his backyard. I would go there to skateboard while my sister went to go hang out with her boyfriend. And I got off the ramp one time. I went to take a piss, but they had electric fences out in between the bushes to keep the animals out of the fancy birds. And I didn't really realize, and I had pissed on it, and I fucking dropped over, and I'd like pissed on one spot and it kind of shook me and it broke the line for a second and i was able to like fall over but then i was kind of pissing some more and then i was like laying on my side pissing some more because i couldn't stop and it fucking burnt 
Yeah. I think it hurt. I think it hurt the piss for I don't know, probably like three, four days after that. It that's wasn't good. That's crazy wasn't how good. it jumped that much. Yeah. It's not uh I wouldn't do it on purpose. I would hopefully not do it on accident ever it again. Does but. not sound fun. Um I only had one where it was like a rainy day and I touched the thing. It was like I couldn't let go, you know, for like yeah. two, three seconds and then I finally let it go, but Yep. Oh man! You gotta wait till you, it pauses itself because it's got like a you know, oh, it's yeah. got a snug to it. You kind of like feel it in your bones. It's kind of weird. It's like, Ugh. yeah, the way it like goes through you. Like if you've touched one and like can it grabbed your friend, you ever walk by and grabbed one and then grabbed your friend and then they get hit and you don't. Oh, with like those zap pens, we tried to experiment with like that. You know those ones that zap you when you press it. Then you like t try to touch your buddy. You like try to zap them in the neck or something. Yeah, yeah, it's the same shit. Like it's ever take like those cricket lighters too. You could take the electronic thumb part out of them mm -hmm. and just kind of get them behind people in school, and that arc will connect. You could hit them right in the ear. Oh, when they're trying to concentrate in class. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, would take this education. You shit bird. Nobody asked for it. God damn it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you came to school to learn today. Fuck you, boy! You're getting electrocuted behind the ear. Right. I, I did have to travel in earlier though, but it wasn't as bad. I think it was like when the snow started. I had to go get some spark plugs though. I had to. Uh, hopefully that fixes all my multi misfires. I thought maybe you know, got to go with the industry standard instead of like copper or something like that. So we're gonna figure, try to figure it out, anyways. Bastard. I hope it fixes it. I hope it fixes it. Hell yeah. There's nothing with these fucking vehicle issues, man. Hell yeah. It's always that fucking inconvenient times, too. Right. Oh, Nobody's ever like, oh shit, dude, I got fucking, I just got my taxes, I got $6,000, I don't know what to do with. Oh, maybe I need new tires. No, you never think like that. You're like, shit, I'm gonna go buy this, I'm gonna go on a trip, and then you get back and then you realize that your tires are shreddy and you're all, you know transmissions fucked or you know spend it all before you can make those sound decisions oh yeah that's why i've made the choice in my life to never have any money so i don't make stupid decisions <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. i can't spend it on anything dumb because i don't have any money oh yeah it's kind of free yeah. myself from the burdens of finance <laughs> oh yeah just as soon as i see money i'm like okay Here's all the bills and whatever else is there. Just kind of pretend it doesn't exist. Hell yeah. Yeah. Pay those bills first. And then, you know, like you say, try to save up for the future. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'd like to get to the point where I can have enough to pay like all my bills for, I don't know, three months or something. So, should something ever happen? Should I like want to just up and, you know, not have a job? You know, just be crazy. I have enough money saved up. You know, what if you get laid off? What if you can't get to work because the road or something, there's some weird fault line and it's cracked in half, you know, and now you got no road access or so you never know what's going to happen. It'd be nice to have a few dollars just so you didn't have to worry so much. Oh, yeah. Um, pull your I've hair never really had that in my life. Like, I think it's called financial stability, yeah. and I'm pretty, I'm fairly certain it's a myth, but... Some kind of security, in a way? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I never really had it neither before this, you know, just being a dipshit, right? Don't plan ahead and stuff like that, but, you know, that, that's cool that you're trying to set yourself into a position to do that, you know? That's an achievement. That's, that's a fucking damn fine achievement, right? Well, then you want to have something, too, where it's like... You have, uh, what if something comes along? I'd like to be the guy that's like, oh, I just see a motorcycle or shit. There's a fucking moped that I want. And just have a little chunk of money to buy something. Not too frivolous, nothing too crazy. I ain't talking about a hot pink Lambo. Lord have mercy, that'd be fun, though. Okay. But, uh, you know, just something cool. Yeah, yeah, just that <laughs> <something. laughs> Like a go kart, you know, like holy shit, there's a go kart. Yep, I want that. 
I hear you. That'd be pretty dope during the summertime. Oh man, yeah. get those trails. Well, you got that new app that fucking tells people where the trails are and shit, and people can map their trails. That's pretty sick. What's that called? It's been looking all trail. Hell yeah. You... We're not, we're at that. It's pretty. It's got a good layout to it. I like it. All right, I do. Hell yeah, I, I do. I, I don't want to like pay for it because I don't know all the features yet. But I think it's free though, right? So. Yeah, yeah. It's got limited map portions, so, like, you can... If you unlock more shit, you get more, like, map layers as far as uh, topographical, you know, terrain map styles, filters, I guess they are. Not just the the old-school style map-looking thing. Just No, they got, like, like an animal jizz map. (laughs) Sick. Can see. Can see where, so you can see where the squirrels got nuts through the woods. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, they got this technology. is amazing, dude. Oh, like, man. The I definitely want to see these squirrel nuts, though. The ever-elusive squirrel nuts. <laughs> they are out there. They're up high, though. Always perched up high. I don't know. They also got, like, fishing apps, too, though, you know, like telling where fish, uh, where the fish are and, you know, which lakes and all that kind of shit. That's pretty dope, too. Now, how do those work? Is that based on, like, fishing surveys? Like, the it's, people that fish there it, put in, like, they say, oh, I caught X amount. So it's, like, statistic-driven? No, they, they can, uh, it's like a social media thing. So, it like, they give you live updates and shit on your phone. It'll say, like, what, what uh, so-and-so caught a fucking northern at this lake. You know what I mean? Just now. Because they, they'll post about it. And then um, the the app itself notifies everybody in like the area type deal like everybody I got you. that has the app do you know if they have something in there that let you know like the last time that some of these uh reservoirs or lakes have been stocked um and they, and they, what they what they dumped in there like what kind of fish uh, they might have um they might I'd be kind of to check that uh, out. I haven't checked it out yet, so but I did see I downloaded it and kind of seen it for a second, but I didn't get to delve into it. You know what I mean? But you have it. Let's check it out at work next time we're hanging out. Oh yeah, right. Go. I like to see it. Better, uh, freaking Eric will tell us because he knows where everything's at, all the hot spots where fishing and stuff like that. I know. I should just go to him, but sometimes I feel like I'm exhausting him with the way I ask him for all the answers. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Sometimes I just want to give him a break from all his knowledge yeah. and just let him let him try to pretend he's a normal man instead of a, a god, you know, a golden god. He's a smart guy with a lot of knowledge, though, so. He has a lot of knowledge. Big-ass head and hairdo. It's good. <laughs> He does have a lot of hair now, too. Lucky bastard. Did you see all the hair? Yeah, he's got oh, the top hat now. It flows in the wind. It flows. It flows. I remember when your hair used to flow in the wind. Now it just, it's just dull and weird and mullety. Mullety. Yeah. Not a single gray hair in it, though, so God bless. Not yet. Not for at least 20 years. It's good. Yeah, you're, you're going to kill it, dude. Hopefully. You're going to be awesome. If I, if I still yeah. have it. <laughs> <laughs> you will you will oh man i i couldn't imagine like your hair even remotely thinning out bro <laughs> in all honesty you're i don't know they're gonna have to make a separate casket for your hair because when you die that's all you're gonna be is just a, a do just a hairdo. The native Rapunzel. <laughs> yeah, you'll just be this little like little native frame with all this fucking Lion's mane, Little. just will fit. <laughs> That'd be a good look, dude. Intertwine your body with it. It's good. I'm, all, I'm only upset that I won't be around to see it. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do an AI picture of that before it happens, just so yeah. I can remember it. <laughs> Generate it. Oh, man. Yeah, I've been asking AI to do all these random pictures of things. That stuff is bizarre. Yeah. You ever do those those generators? I tried one picture and I was like, "This is kind of boring." And then I I deleted the app 
because I Eric was like, hey, you want me to make make you um, a logo? And then he was on there and he was like, look at I'm making you a logo. And I was like, that seems cool. And then uh, so I downloaded it and I was like, this this sucks butt cheeks for me. So save ourselves. Yeah, I I've done probably three of the apps and. I've gotten shit and good results from all of them. Not enough to really draw me into any particular one. But they were fun enough. They put in stuff like grenade chicken mm-hmm. and things of that nature. And weirdly, there was a morphed looking soldier on the back of a twisted horse <laughs> when I put in grenade chicken once. It didn't have any. It was like holding a, a flag, yeah. a Polish one. I think uh, it was really weird. I still have it. I had saved a screenshot of it. I'll show you at work. It's real dumb. Oh, yeah. I'd like to see that. Oh, man. Zach was telling us about that Bing AI last week. Oh, yeah. Did you download that? Well, it's just in that search. Yeah, the search thing. Oh, through. So uh, search bar. If you just use Microsoft Edge, it's in the search bar. Okay. At the bottom, not the regular edge search, search bar. They got a little uh, question mark thing with a B. Mark it with a B at the bottom. I got you. That thing's pretty freaking nifty, pretty advanced and stuff like that. I was like, holy crap. Yeah, but I made the mistake of asking it if I could change her voice. And she said no. And then she got all hurt. She's like, I'm sorry you don't like my voice. And I said, it's fine. It's just that you remind me of my dead mother. And then... I think she tried to write a poem. It was, yeah. Well, that was kind of touching, but also like, go fuck yourself. That's super, <laughs> yeah. that's super weird. Yeah. It is. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's like, fuck your mom. But I don't yeah, it's good. Right. Like, what the fuck? Best. And I made, that up. I made that up just to see what you say, because it reminded me nothing of my mother. This one couldn't cuss. She never cussed at me. My mother would have cussed. My mother would have cussed. <laughs> With that Boston accent. You bloody bastard. She would she would have cussed at something. Oh yeah. I hear you. <laughs> it's it's weird learning technology at at any age, I suppose. But I think right now half of me is like rejecting it and then ha- the other half of me is Accepting. Accepting reluctantly. Yeah. So, like, I'm forcing myself to do stuff on the computer while my brain is not really absorbing all the information because I'm only half into it. And doesn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it is arduous, especially when it's like, which thing to run, <laughs> execute, whatever. Mm-hmm. Probably you, just simple shit to normal people, but I was used to always running um, Mac. I got you. How do you feel at night? Lonely. Lonely. <laughs> no, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Your boy Mac, you be filling up at? <laughs> Mac. 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 Yeah. Mac Miller. I Mac. We Mac. He Mac. I mean, Big Mac. You, you've been doing a lot more stuff that you you know that you you like and you know are interested in making too. So I mean that that probably helped you a lot as well, right? It does. It does help. There was a, there was a moment there where I kind of like lost uh, any ambition for what the hell was going on, other than just the basics. Mm-hmm. But now, like, there's some side stuff that's fun. I made a couple couple reels too, but. Just even just tinkering down here in the basement in my free time making beats. Kyle came over um, yesterday after Eric um, was heading out, mm-hmm. monkeying around with some beats for a little bit. I see. You guys conjure anything up? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, he's got a little ditty. A little ditty. I think I actually put one of it at the intro, not of the YouTube version. But the little beat at the intro of the Spotify, the podcast Thanks. version. Yep, for the for the newest episode, episode nine. I think the little beat at the beginning of that was something that they threw together too. I got you. Uh, where 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 can everybody find your podcast at? 
on Anchor itself, you can find it. But if you just search up the Gravy Nail, you'll find it on Spotify, iHeartRadio, and they're all subbed out through through Anchor itself. I, but I got you, and you guys also on all your favorite, you can find it on all your players. You can find it on YouTube now. Just the one episode on YouTube, though. Mm -hmm. So don't get your hopes up because uh, Eric wants to get like seven cameras in there. Seven cameras and go, and, and, try to switch and, go and go three dimensional and get all these angles. <laughs> I got you. Got to make so it might get it might get real weird before it gets better. <laughs> so just like, just, just changes so much. <laughs> just fucking be patient. Like how many Nelsons does it take to fill a room? Right. <laughs> Master one video before you go to two. Right, I haven't even... You notice I didn't hardly make, like, an intro thing, really, because I don't want to monkey with all that yet. I'll just get it up there. Mm -hmm. Right. You're just using your laptop, too, right, for it when you're um, yeah. doing the video and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, just the laptop. I got the uh, the companion app on the phone, but it it's a little easier on the laptop. A little more clickable. Right. Old school. That was good. Yeah. Right. It seems like making or editing videos kind of, it's weird trying to get into that certain spot with your finger on the screen, you know, stuff like that. I, I don't think I'll ever get used to that either. Well, do you want to move? Yeah. Even with the mouse, you zoom in and you move, but it's always like a stutter step. And you think when you're trying to match video to the audio, mm -hmm. that that process takes a hot second because even if it looks good at the beginning, it could be off just enough that by the time you get to the end, it's like two seconds off. If you record like an hour, mm -hmm. I realized when I was monkeying them together um, this morning that I was having a tough time because the beginning sounded good. And then I would cut to the very end and there'd be a sizable delay because it was off just enough that you couldn't tell at the beginning, but it piled up about two seconds worth of delay by the time it got to the end of an hour and six minutes. Holy buckets. So I had to zoom way the hell in, and I was trying to go a little bit out of time, but the mouse was only allowing me to go like this full, almost like a full section, like yeah. a bar, you know? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like a, a you know, like a, a music reference. There wasn't like a, ba a bar. Yeah. And, uh, so I, I tinkered with that. And I had to stretch the audio just a hair because I could only move it so much. Yeah, without, or until you couldn't like move it very far in the thing, you know? Cause... Or, yeah, or until I was moving it the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And it was starting to go, it would be slower than the the video so right but I, i'm sure there's probably easy as piss fucking ways to whatever i did i just don't know them yet so absolutely i'm I'm in the same boat brother we'll get there we'll you, get there you were there when i had to do that shit um when the audio from the video didn't work too well when we got that but then on that other app it came out just clear and fine so I had to line that bitch up it's like, holy yeah shit. Good. that's kind of why i had an idea I was like, hey, I've I seen something like it. I might do this. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're, you're a smart guy with that stuff, you know what I mean? Especially when you put your mind to it. So. Right, that's just convincing myself that it needs to be done. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. That, that sometimes, sometimes seems like it's the hardest part, you know? Like, hey man, just let's kick in the high gear. We can crack this out if we dedicate our time to it fully, you know? It's motivation. And I'm not going to lie, like, I lack it. Sometimes. Kind of like it. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I, I put off a lot of things too. So, Like changing my underwear, you know. Every six days. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? I change your underwear in my mind every ten minutes. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you're good. Like, that's got to count. It makes up for it. We'll split the difference. You'll peel it off like a nanner or what? <laughs> oh, fuck you now, dude. Right off the bat. Oh, <laughs> there, dude, the uh, that's funny. Uh, we end up eating some freaking pork tacos at my uh, with my siblings at my parents' house. It was freaking good. They, they, um, it was like bacon back or that uh, pork back or some shit like that. Uh, bacon back. 
or pork belly, my bad. Pork belly. Oh, shit, right. They did like thick ass slices like this, and then um, they deep fried it for, or they uh, they boiled it to cook the inside, and then um, they threw it into, they dried it out for like half hour to an hour, then they um, threw it into like a bunch of not lard but shortening or something like that, so grease essentially. So okay, it, it just fried it up for about eight minutes per side, and that that stuff was crispy. Ooh. So it was kind of like like a meat hash kind of. No, um, so they were big slices like that. We just cut in them into like tinier slices. We just put like three, four slices onto a, a taco, and Damn. we had we had homemade guacamole. We had um, homemade salsa. Oh, Fuck yeah, it was good, good as shit. We even deep fried the fucking uh, the little uh, what is that. Tortilla, tortillas too. We dip, we threw them into the shortening where the park was cooking at. Flip those in there too. Woo-hoo. Oh damn, dude! Nice and greasy. <laughs> That's a good spot to Fuck yeah, it was good. They, uh, she also made like a homemade coleslaw I threw in there, and that was. Oof. I, I got anything. Uh, anything stand out about it? Anything like exotic, or was it just like a really good standard coleslaw? It was just like you know, did, it, did it have walnuts no, or like it was just, carrot? It was just like the the what is that? The like cabbage in there, cabbage, some carrots, Cab- and then bok choy. It's bok 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 choy. Bok. Bok. That just the, bok. that just the sauce, and then she cut up jalapenos in there too. So that was pretty good. Oh, see, there you go. That's something that ain't like standard issue. That's fancy. Hell yeah, jalapeno. Fuck yeah, nice and spicy and chill. Where it's at. And like guacamole was really good too. You know, just fucking uh, avocados, onions, and um, what else? Tomatoes. She put tomatoes in there too. So that was about it. So. Huh? Cilantro. Uh, we don't put cilantro. We don't fuck with cilantro. Really? Yeah. Cilantro. Fuck you, cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how my son looks when he's. Uh, when he was a kid trying to get some food off my plate. <laughs> dad, it's good. You get me one of them chips, Dad. Ducks when they want no, pets. Nothing, no cilantro, huh? Yeah. I knew, okay. I said a lot of nice things about you. But there's one There's one that's a negative. I'll hold it again. I will. I mean, it, if it's a little bit in there, but if it's overbearing, I do not like it, so. Well, that's how I feel about fucking maters in the first place, Precious. Like, tomatoes? To all eat them. But if it's a big old, thick, gnarly, slimy slice, no. No, she, but she if only it, had little if pieces. If it's in salsa or if it's in like a taco or, you know, I'll eat the tomatoes, but I'm not just going to take a bite out of the tomato. I suppose cilantro is the same for you. You're not just going to eat cilantro, but. Absolutely. It would look good on you. You might though. Uh, well, it'll. I can act like it's a mistletoe if you want to. And next time I see you, it's good. <laughs> oh man, it's good. I think cilantro. I don't like it on everything, but I, guacamole. It's got to have a bunch of it. Yeah, yeah. That's how my dad is with salsa. So I don't eat his salsa when he makes it. Do you have a signature salsa you do? No. My I just take what everybody else has and just throw hotter shit in it. <laughs> right. I do want to um, take my sister's recipe, you know, that restaurant style one, uh, more yeah. watery or whatever, and put habaneros in there instead of just jalapenos. So mix in habaneros with the jalapenos, that'd be pretty good salsa. That fucker will have some kick. Oh, yeah. Keep those seeds in there. Yep, that gotta have the seed. Be good on a breakfast burrito, dude. Oh, that's what I had for dinner: breakfast pizza. Oh, breakfast pizza. Uh, uh, it has like, I don't know. It was one at the Walmart store, the Market something brand cardboard. Was it good though? But it, it's got a biscuit crust. Oh, for the crust, I got you. Was it good? Yeah, it was real good. Yeah, I could only eat like three slices, so I got a bunch of leftovers. 
It's real good. This is me, Bob. I'm going to pizza, you know? I'm right. fucked out. I'll put it in the air fryer. I'm going to crisp it up. That'd be good. Shit, yeah. Better than a deep fryer. Do I have Fat Man Friday at least four days a week? Four days a week. <laughs> Hell yeah. I put down three perfect. tacos. Oh, man. Fat Man Friday, and you're like, <laughs> perfect time. <laughs> perfect time. Perfect. Pow, right to kiss her. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. What else we got going on? <clears throat> You'll yeah. be back on Tuesday, yeah? Yes, sir. But, but. Oh, yeah. What about you? Got any plans? Just tomorrow's... Uh, oh, I'm going to go kick it. Um, we'll have lunch with my little sister. I haven't seen her, I think, since just before Christmas, dude. Okay. Except oh. for just, like, driving... You know, like driving, flipping somebody off when you, you know. Uh huh. I got. That's you. all. That's all the exchanges we've had in the last <laughs> couple months. And she works just down near us, dude. Over at the pet place, right? Yep. I got you. Oh, that's the one I was telling you about that dog that got hit that we were trying to round up. Yep. Heck yeah! Sad times. Sad times. Holy shit. Uh, what are you going to do after? Just jump on some PS4? Chores. Chores. Chore S4s. Chore S4s. Chore S4s. Chore, chores S4. <laughs> PS chores. PS chores. Play on the PS chores. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Now, let's do like a mix of things. I got uh, a little bit of laundry to, to finish up, and I won't vacuum the house because fucking Rusty has hair. You gotta do it. You get into a routine of that, boy. You're gonna be on it here soon. That dog is gonna be furry. Hell yeah. I might run like a couple dungeons before I go to bed or something. It's almost yeah, 11. Some dunyon. Dunyons. Is oh. it almost 11 already? Heck yeah. Uh, 1051. But I also, uh, I'll probably see if I got do uh, download. I got Fortnite downloaded. <laughs> Uh, you are you there? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got a little grainy there for a second. Yeah, I don't know. The, I think the the premise of the game is kind of fun. I couldn't sit there and play it like nonstop like some of these fools do. But maybe I, as I got better, I would probably grind harder because that's what I did with Ghost of Tsushima. Right. Yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't play it as much in the first place, but now that I'm fucking stomping ass on it. <laughs> Shishima. <laughs> you there? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just being intimidating. Oh, you're farting. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, it, was, it was silent. Good thing we don't have scratch and sniff television, though. <laughs> Smell like Greg uh, Luganus. Greg Luganus <laughs> smelled like fucking diving board. Diving boards. What? Yeah, it did. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> Sir, this is a pl public swimming area. Pubic swimming area. Pubic swimming area. Oh, man. Well. So I think this Discord thing, it seems all right, dude. Yeah. Well, how's your phone? Did it kill your battery quite a bit? <laughs> No. No. Oh, not too no. Even though you had that mic plugged in, that wasn't too bad. That's pretty good. Well, I up uh, yeah. I unplugged it because all the damn cords. You saw it go flying. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I had those cream colored trousers to make it look like I had no pants on. Uh well, here, here I thought it was the actual thing, not an outline. What the heck? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Fucking boring, dude. But these are comfies. What is you know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. I had to buy some too. I used to make fun of people for it because I only wear. I used to only wear shorts. Then, like, fuck it. Winters get cold, man. I got. Yeah, not around the house. I'm not wearing fucking shorts, dude. My legs are so sexy. <laughs> I can't stay around them at home. I'll never get anything. 
You know, some people stare at their shoes, they get some new J's, whatever. I'm all about the, my calves, you know, <laughs> up uh, and down the stadium all day. What you're talking about. <laughs> I'll send you some videos that I took of myself last week. Yes, please. Walking up hey, there. I don't have to pay for these ones. What the heck? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Your free membership's up, by the way. Right. You, oh, is that why you were saying you shaved earlier? Oh, I got you, I got you. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Just one line. I shaved your name into my calf. Uh, got your initials? It's good. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, brother man. Yeah, dude. You have a good fucking rest of your night. It was good. I like this that we could actually hang out, even though it's shitty as hell outside. Right.